and this is Emily and <laughs> and today we are doing a Barnes and Noble kind of day. Run? Yeah. Yeah, Barnes and Noble run. Um, and then we'll show you guys what we get afterwards. So I'm gonna my goal is to get something for my friend Emily because her birthday is this weekend. And then not this Emily. Yeah, I was gonna be like mm. No, different Emily. <laughs> um, my other friend Emily, her birthday is this weekend and I'm gonna see her. So I'm gonna get her something from here and then I also just wanna get some books because yeah. we are bookworms. Yeah, I already then, went through my collection, so yeah. And the then, new ones. What's your goal for this trip? Uh, to get at least two books. Two books? Okay. Yep. So we're gonna take you guys with us, and then try to give you guys a haul after. Mm, yeah. Let's get to it. <laughs> Should we start with this section? Ooh, let's see. Eight rules of love. I don't know what it says. Nobody sits us down and teaches us how to love, so we're often thrown into relationships with nothing but romantic movies and pop culture to help us muddle through until now. Oh, wait, I actually kind of want this. Because I was never taught how to love. My favorite section. No one can judge me, though. Where are the books? I already found one that I kind of want to get, which is called Sweet Spot. Sweet Spot. And the main character has my name, except they spelled it wrong. So I'm a little mad about that, but you know, it's okay. And I'm looking at these. I don't know which one I want to get. What's over here? Which one are you looking at? The proposal. Is it because you want Cedric to propose? Oh, Lord, no. <laughs> oh. Love on the Brain. Oh, there's a song that has that lyric. This is really cute. I like it. And I read also the love hypothesis. I like. Oh yeah, how was the love? Was it good? Yeah. Okay. What is it about? You can tell the audience. No. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Me too. We found our happy place, which is Colleen Hoover, and we have literally all these books. Literally all of them. I want more of them there. And this is our other happy place, the romance section. Because both me and Emily are obsessed with romance. Hopeless romantics at heart, even though we both have beautiful men who treat us right. Yeah. But we still, we still love romance. Yes. And that was upside down, just so you know. Okay. What is it? They're really good. It's a, it's a three series. Three series? Yeah. What? One, two, three. Okay. And it's about three different. No. Okay, I'll put it on the books. I'll put it on the books. It's about three brothers, and like each brother has to do something to get their grandfather's inheritance, and each has a different story. And this one, like, this is the third final book, and like it concludes everything. It ties all the things together, and it's really nice. This one's interesting. It's really good. I kind of want to read it. Hand me the first book. Put it on the stack. You're not gonna be able to stop. Like I started with the first one and quickly like I read this within one month. Jeez. And it was and these are big, so <gasps> and it has my name. Except it's spelled wrong again. But that's okay. I digress. I digress. I'm really curious what the Too Hot to Handle book is about because there's the Too Hot to Handle show. Is it from the same thing? That's what I'm wondering. I don't know. Let's see what else they have. We're gonna keep looking guys. Oh, there's the proposal the one you were talking about. I wonder what, have you read Boyfriend Material? Because I've heard good stuff, Boyfriend Material. I've heard good stuff about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has a sequel. Husband Material. Oh, so, well, now we know what happened. When two broken men deserve each other, hilarious fake dating. Guys, Emily ditched me. I don't know where she is. I'm staying in the romance section because I really like reading these books and she gave me a whole freaking recommendation of like an entire series and I need to start another series. So I have like four books already. And now I'm looking at the romance section. This is where I am. I'm over here. And I was trying to find like another book that I might want to read. I'm trying to fix my camera, there we go. I'm trying to find another book I want to read, but I don't know what I want to read. So it's 
other for that. So we're just gonna browse. We're not gonna care. No, we're just gonna relax. We're not gonna care about what we look at. We're just gonna look because I feel like I overthink it too much. So. Hey guys, so I just finished picking out my books and now I'm gonna try to look for something for my friend Emily um, in the, the planner, stationery, cute section because I think she'd like something from her. So we're gonna get her something. I don't know. We will see what I get her. So I don't know what to get her. I got her a book, I know that. But I wanna get her something else, but the book. So. Something cute, something that screams really. It is official. I am now Baroque. Thanks to this one. I'm sorry I have good taste in books. I don't know what you expected when you said to go to Martian novels with you. Now I'm broke. And I had to buy Emily's present. Which I kind of, I think, I know, I think it's a good selection. Yeah, so. it is. yeah. I'll show you guys later. Hi guys, so we just finished. Uh, we're about to go check out, but we wanted to do the haul before we leave because Emily's gonna go back to her apartment and I'm gonna go back to mine. So uh, we're gonna do it before we leave. So, Em, um, you wanna go first since yours is short? Yeah. So, what do you do, Loki? Yeah, sh show them the book. And it's called A Dash of Salt and Pepper. Who's it by? And it's by Kosoko Jackson, and um, it's about two chefs who fall in love under the pressure of cooking, because one is like the head chef, and the other one is like the shoe chef, and apparently they fall in love. Specific. And then the next one is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace, and it's about a hockey player and an ice skater who fall in love. Cute. That's me. Okay, first I'm gonna do the books I bought and then I'll do Emily's present. So, or that I'm gonna buy, I guess. Yeah. Um, the first book is called Zodiac Academy. Um, I'm not really, it's by, uh, it's by two people. It's by Caroline Beckham and Susan Valentine. And I'm not really sure what it's about, but it involves it Zodiac. It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. It's concerning that the Zodiac that's in it's a Gemini, but Yeah, the whatever. first book is a Gemini. I mean, you gotta start off big, so why not start with a Gemini? Um, but yeah, so I like I started reading like the first two pages and I liked it. So that's my first book. The second book I'm getting is called The Inheritance Games. It's very really cool. I like the cover of it. It's a series. It's by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Um, one of the YouTubers I watch, uh, Haley. Thing. It's Haley. I want to say it's Haley. She's a she's a book YouTuber, but she read this and she liked it. So I'm gonna get it. And I also liked it. It's about um. It's about um, a girl named Avery who like is trying to survive high school, but apparently she gets like a bunch of like money from a rich dead dude and has to live in his I mansion. Wish so, I had those kind of problems. I really wish. No, literally. And yeah, so it sounded really cool, and I really liked it. So I'm gonna read that because I go through that for free, literally. <laughs> and then the next four books are from Emily. Her fault. Like I've read all of them. Um, so I'm gonna do the first three, like which the series. Is, yeah, because it's a series. So it's the Dream. What's it called the Dreamland and Billionaire series by Lauren, Lauren Asher. Yeah. Um, you want to tell them what it's about? Yeah. So it's about three brothers, and like their grandfather died and gave them a task in order to get their inheritance. So each book is by a is of a brother. The first one is. No, that's not the first one. First one is about Rowan and his and his. You're not really good at this one. There you go. <laughs> and he has to do his tag, and then his second brother is Declan, <laughs> and he, like they all have to do a separate task, but each story is about each book is about each brother, and, and then this is like about Cap. I think the sweetest one is Rowan and then 
like the order I would like date them is like Rowan, Declan, and then Callahan. Mm -hmm. Rowan's the cutest though. <laughs> okay. And then the last book she recommended to me was the book series uh, Twisted. The first book is Twisted Love. And it's by Anna Wang. Yeah. They're great, top tier, toxic love. <laughs> Like if you want to read about Toxic Love, buy this series. Yeah. And then for my friend Emily, because she's this is going to be posted by the time I see her. So first thing I got her was the Twisted Love book, because I think she'd like it. So if she hasn't read it or bought it, here it is. And then here's her birthday card. Just says happy birthday. And then I'm getting her a sleep mask, which I think is really cute. It says, I don't do mornings. Because I don't think anyone does mornings because mornings Not are terrible. Yeah, literally. And then I got her a set of cheese knives because... Because we're bougie over here. But also because, um, mainly because one of her friends got her like a housewarming gift and it was a cheese board. I think it actually did come with cheese knives, but it's okay. Extra nice. Yeah, she has extra nice for when she has a big party. Yeah, so that is Emily's present and now we're going to go check out. And I'll probably just end it here because there's no point in, you know, starting over. Bye, so. guys. Yes, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, and if you guys want to see Emily again, um, you know. Please, no. No. Um, if you guys want us to do this again or you want me to do this again. Send some money so we can buy <laughs> books. Send some money. Or just, you know, subscribe so, you know, I can start getting money from YouTube. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, yeah, we will see. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to go fight her. I'm going to go fight her. I'm still going to go fight her. Ciao.